Well, that was about, I'd say, played a bunch of gigs with him for at least a year, but it was through Bobby Caldwell that I met a guy named Jeff Lorber. And Jeff Lorber was the second person to come along in a very short window that would change my life in a very significant way. So um, through somebody who saw me play with Bobby, uh, they recommended me to Jeff. And the next thing I knew, I got a call from Jeff Lorber, who I had all of his albums in my record collection. And now I'm going driving to Pacific Palisades, nervous as can be, to audition for his band. Now this was a big deal because now we're dealing with an instrumental artist who was very, signed to Warner Brothers, had a huge tour planned, and was looking for a saxophone player to nurture and to see, I didn't know at the time. So I went there just to play some music and I got into his house and we started playing and it was, he just started playing the blues and I started to play solo along. And it, one chorus through the blues, he stopped playing. And I was like, that was not very long. <laughs> and he said, he started to talk about the, you know, getting in touch with his manager and uh, we need your information, blah, blah, blah. And you've got the gig and we leave, blah, blah, blah. And here's the rehearsal times. And I'm like, did, what just happened? And he said, you got the gig. I said, you just heard me play 12 bars of blues. That's it? That's all you want to hear? He said, yeah, I, I got it. And also, I want to talk to you about maybe next week we can get together and write, you know, start writing some music because I think you should be making your own records. I thought the guy was smoking something. I was just completely confused because this all happened so quick. And I thought he was, I didn't know what he was, where he was coming from with the you know, your own record, because up, up until that, honestly, up until that point, it, the that had not dawned on me, that I could make my own records. I was very happy just being a sideman, and really pleased with that, and I could have done that for my career and been very happy. But he planted this very, very uh, fruitful seed in my head, Jeff Lorber, and I'm very grateful to him for that. And he followed up on that. Um, the next week or whenever it was, we got together and started putting some demos together. And those demos um, got me signed to Capitol Records in the sort of, probably around 1987, 1988. And that's how it all happened. So I talk about Lorber a lot because without him in the mix, uh, the story of Dave Cause would not happen.